Hey there everybody, Daryl Griffiths here on behalf of Movie Marker. Welcome to my first video review straight from this year's Glasgow Film Festival. Um, the film that I'll be covering today is Blackberry, directed by Matt Johnson. Now, Matt has become this almost Canadian cult hero uh, in the world of filmmaking in the last decade. He made a film called The Dirties, um, I think it was back in 2014. Now, for me personally, I'm not going to bullshit anybody here, I haven't been too familiar with Matt's body of work up to now but it was the sheer it was sheer curiosity on my part about the premise uh, of Blackberry of course revolving around the world's first smartphone um, and its meteoric rise but also it's beyond disastrous fall and ultimate demise um, of the of the phone now with the two main protagonists of the film uh, Matt Johnson plays Douglas Freegan and Jay Baruchel, who we haven't seen a huge amount of in recent times. Um, probably the most notable effort in recent years was This Is The End, the apocalyptic comedy um, with Danny McBride and Seth Rogen and a very star-studded ensemble um, and sort of poke fun at the Hollywood star system through, you know, these bizarre genre thrills that he'd offered. Um, but with Blackberry... Um, so Mike and Douglas form uh, Research in Motion. Now, the acronym RIM as a gay guy is not lost on me. So, you know, immediate hilarity with that. Um, Research in Motion are a bunch of frat pack tech guys. You know, there's a really strong camaraderie between them all. Um, and they're all just trying to break out in this, you know, ever evolving and quite, you know, cutthroat world um, of tech. Um, and they're trying to attract various, you know, big time players and investors. Um, Jim Balsilli, played by Glenn Herriton, is, you know, the key antagonist of the piece. He's this sort of, he becomes this motor mouth figure um, in trying to get people and, you know, various cynics within the industry to buy into this idea. And the best thing about Blackberry is that it, really embraces the mismatch between you know these frat pack figures and you know these these big time you know corporate stooges who you know are very clinical about getting in their own way and you know making the big books and just throwing money rounds you know as freely as they've deemed fit um the for blackberry it really embraces this sort of mockumentary style um and with Matt's direction, there's, you know, the various pop culture references of the 90s. It's almost like peak MTV vibes um, in terms of how it's spliced together uh, with these montages that, you know, really pop. And, you know, and you have these bizarre reactions to, you know, from people who basically say... I think the best bit is like there's an Oprah segment where she's, you know, giving, you know, because she was freewheeling herself and giving out various gifts uh, during her time as a talk show host. Um, and you see people's reactions being like dumbfounded and just, you know, mouth ajar, uh, you know, being given these phones. And that sort of, you know, it, it captures that excitable feeling um, of, you know, these big corporate technology, technology, um, presentations that you know are done on a regular basis these days obviously with Apple with Steve Jobs as well um, over the years obviously you know who did become and you know, I really have to look at the success of Apple over the years um, especially during this period for Blackberry and the key players involved um, with the performances I mean the ensemble is game I have to say Glenn Hewerton I mean, he steals every scene he's pretty much in. You know, he's the ferocity that he brings to the role. It's a bit of a departure for him, I, I have to say, but it's 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 a barnstormer of a performance. Um, and you know, he's you know in ever agitated nature about um, Mike and Douglas and how how they deem or you know how they. Um, get their points across, um, you can just tell that it, his face is a picture throughout. Um, for Jay Baruchel and Matt Johnson's characters, again, I think, as I referred to earlier, there's a wonderful camaraderie about them. Um, but 
the most pleasing thing about this film is that, you know, there, there can be a toxic culture about, you know, being a bit of a geek, whether it's in film, music, you know, tech, and how you approach the um, these worlds and and how you sort of articulate your thoughts and how, you know, how, how you create things um, that you put out into the world. And I think with this geek culture, I think it finds... A deeply humanistic um, vibe underneath all, you know, the, the technological jargon that is bent, you know, brandished around quite freely during the film. And I think because, you know, especially in a script like that, when it's, you know, it's so intense on the detail, you know, it, it can get very bogged down. But the camaraderie between the characters and the strong bond that they have really holds the film together as... As I say, Glenn Herriton's just, you know, barking orders at everybody. Uh, there's a great cameo from Carrie Elwes, and, you know, a screen veteran. And again, he's another cutthroat figure who is trying to undermine Glenn Herriton's gym uh, throughout the film. So there's a wonderful di dynamic that plays out there. Um, and I, I was just super impressed by how the film handles its subject matter and finds wickedly funny moments, but also by the end it is quite a sobering um picture that it paints about how redundant how quickly you can become redundant or irrelevant in these worlds and it sort of has echoes of the social network uh, the david fincher film which uh, in the last 10 to 15 years i'll probably say is one of my favorite films of recent in in that period um because the script is so sharp and everything pops between the characters but also i think it's just it's social relevancy in terms of how distant we can feel um when there's always this argument that technologically technology brings us all together um as an individual it can leave you very isolated whether you're creating it or embracing it and i think blackberry does a fantastic job at getting that across and articulating it through the script um, and even through some of the jokes as well that that it lands uh, very efficiently uh, also um, but that is my review of Blackberry uh, I sincerely hope you've enjoyed it um, I can you know I've been a bit nervous about putting this out again because I haven't done a video review for quite some time so I very much hope you've enjoyed um, they'll in terms of written reviews um, of course I'm covering the festival for movie marker and uh, there was a there is another review also that I've done for Take One uh, Cinema. Um, they have taken on my review of God's Creatures, starring Paul Mescal, uh, Man of the Moment, and of course Oscar nominated for After Sun. So be sure to check that out. Uh, today, at the time of putting this out, my review of Punch has just gone online on Movie Marker. Also, um, other films that are coming up in terms of my coverage, there is Sanctuary, which I can't wait to talk about because I freaking loved it. Uh, a great erotic thriller, Fifty Shades, fans be damned. This is the real deal. Um, there's a Lakelands, a, a terrific Irish drama. Uh, also, uh, there's a surprise film, which of course I have no idea what we're going to get uh, on Wednesday evening, but Glasgow does tend to pull it out the bag, uh, judging recent years. Uh, we've had Promising Young Woman and Gloria Bell, just to name two. Uh, in the, in the years that I've been covering the festival anyway. So very keen to see what they throw at us um, on Wednesday evening. Um, but that is a wrap, of course, Movie Marker. Uh, follow us on Twitter and, of course, Facebook. And, of course, the website itself, www.moviemarker.co.uk. Um, but for now, I've been Daryl Griffiths. Um, lovely reconnecting and I'll see you all soon, I am sure. Take care and bye-bye for now. See you later.